Miles, breakout performance for you tonight, uh, seizing the moment and the opportunity. Um, when did things begin to click for the running game and for you? Uh, our coaches, I feel, I feel like our coaches, they always had the plan, you know, and it was always up to the running backs just to, you know, get get the work done. And um, I, I, I felt like they trusted me today to go out on the field and just do that. So I, I really appreciate the coaches and stuff like that. How much uh, were you anticipating playing in this game leading up to uh, the contest against Wyoming? Uh, well, the coaches, they, they texted me, and they told me, like, Miles, just be ready. Your time is coming. And I'm, a, I'm the type of guy, I'm always patient. My dad, like, growing up, I've always been a patient guy. So I always wanted, waited for my time. Like, every game, I feel like, you know, I get in, you know, I just try to make the best of it. And that's what today I tried to do to make the best of it. Did you think you were going to score on that long 70-yard run? I was hoping so. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to score. My dad's going to probably talk about me tonight. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was hoping to score on that. What was the message from... Coach Satake and the staff at halftime. I know he was focusing on rhythm and, and cleanness and things up. What, what was said specifically in the halftime locker room? Just go out there and do what we do best. That's, he trusts us, he, so he just told us, like, go out there and do what you guys do best. He, he don't have to talk. We know what we have to do. You know, it's, it's all between us and, you know, our position groups. Just go out there and just be the best we can be, so. What's the key to overcoming frustration of penalties? Because there were a lot that were, that were stacking up in tonight's game. Just trust, just trust our team, trust yourself. You know, it's a game. You're going to have penalties. It's football, you know, it's, you're going to have mess ups. But as long as you, you know, go out there, you still execute, do what you got to do. You know, it ain't going to get in the way. Where did you as a player grow in a game like tonight? Where did I? Um, trusting my O-line, trusting our O-line, trusting my team, trusting the coaches. And just like I said, just being patient. And, and when my time comes, just do what I do best. You get Utah State in five days. What's the approach as you go into a short week to get ready for a Thursday night game? You celebrate it tonight, get our rest tonight, and then we move on tomorrow. Not tomorrow. So we move on, we start watching film tomorrow, and we, we get ready for Utah State. Uh, in the running backs room, you still have Chris Brooks, still got Lopini Katoa, and obviously after your performance tonight, now you come into the equation. Um, how, do you, how do you handle uh, the competition that, that kind of is breeding in that room and and what happens on the field i feel like those are the older guys I always looked up to them like especially penny and chris and tyler before he left i always looked up to him i always tell him every day i look up to him you know so I, I feel like it's just gonna it's not like no toxic competition we're just gonna go you know we're gonna push each other and just make sure everybody can keep striving to be better you know we all want we all want one goal we all want to go to the nfl and that's what we're trying to do so to keep pushing each other to do that that's, that that could be the greatest thing in our running back room. Congratulations on a hard-fought win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Cougar Nation, thank you.